but have you made a decision to follow Jesus? Yes. And you, you plan to follow him for the rest of your life? Yes. To like 80? Yes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and, you've made, and, and you've made that personal decision. Yes. Amen. All right. Because you believe, I baptize you, my sister, in the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. We are baptized into his death and raised to walk a new life with him. Jesus, here's my friend Madison, and she has faith that is strong, though she is young. And I pray that that faith will persevere, that it will only grow stronger in the years to come. Thank you for the faith of a young woman chasing hard after you. Let her live no ordinary life. Let her live a life charged by your Holy Spirit. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. So this is my friend Cliff. And he's baptizing his son, Jace. Hey, everybody. I'm Cliff Bowen. This is my son, Jace. This is my second son. We have four, right? So the other ones are back there in the back. They hope they don't cry too much. Um, so we've been here for a few months. And my son accepted Jesus uh, a few months ago before we got to come out here. So he wanted to, uh, to do follow Jesus in baptism today. So, Jace, do you love Jesus? Yes, sir. How does a young man keep his way pure, buddy? By guarding the your heart in according to his word. That's right, by guarding your heart according to his word, son. So although you're my son today, you're also my brother in Christ. So it's as your brother in Christ that I baptize you, my son, in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Bear the baptism and raise the walk in newness of life. Stand up and let me pray over you. Jesus, thank you for Jace. What a great young man, God. Thank you for what you've done in his life. He's young, and I know you accept the faith of a child. I pray that his child's faith will mature right along with him, and that he will not only be a young man serving you, but one day he'll be an old man serving you. Let your Holy Spirit work greatly in his life. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 Oh, buddy. This is my friend Blanca, and I've been so blessed by you, by what God has done in your life. Let me ask you, have you made a decision to follow Christ as your Savior? With all my heart. Amen, with all your heart. There's nothing else I can ask after that if you've given your life to the Lord and trusted Him. Amen. Amen. Blanca, because you believe, I baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. We are baptized into His death and raised to walk a new life with Him. <laughs> I'm so proud of you. Let me pray for you. Jesus, here's Blanca. And I know... God, it's been in some ways a tough year, but it's been a great year because you've done great things in her life. Thank you, Lord, for her deciding to follow you, as she said, with all her heart, because I know with all your heart you love her. I pray that she would live a life filled by your Holy Spirit. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. I'm so proud of you. All right, Gabriel. You excited? Yeah. Like this. Let me ask you, have you made a decision to follow Christ as your Savior? With all my heart, yes. With all your heart, yeah. And um, we, we had a great talk, didn't we, about what it means to follow the Lord. And um, gotten, Actually, you were in the summer class this year when we did the Bible overview. And I've just seen God working in your life. I'm so proud of you. So because you believe, I baptize you, my brother, in the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. We are baptized into his death and raised to walk a new life with him. Yeah. Jesus, thank you for Gabriel. Thank you for saving him. Thank you for working his life. I pray that he would not live an ordinary life, but that he would live a life charged by the power of the Holy Spirit of God. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. If you would stand... I want to remind you as you leave um,
that you can sign up still to be part of the Food for Life ministry out there on the porch, and there's a bunch of other ministries that you can you can be a part of. Um, I also want to remind you of this. There is nothing more precious to us as a church family than getting to baptize. Amen? And every one of these that came into this water isn't just another face. These are lives that have been changed by God, and we get to participate in that story. So, all right, Pastor Grover.